Welcome back everybody to the latest video. Today's forecast update will be considered my first summer forecast video for 2023. It will be short and simple since we will be reviewing the Farmer's Almanac Summer Forecast and then the Climate Prediction Center's forecast. At the end of the video, I will consolidate the predictions of both sources into one map, showing a rough idea of what I'm expecting across the US. Before we start the video, I do want to announce that my official summer forecast will come out sometime in mid to late May. Today's video will be more in, on the simple side, so if you don't want to miss my much more detailed summer forecast with my personal predictions, make sure to subscribe. With all that in mind, let's take a look at what the Farmer's Almanac is forecasting for this summer. Starting off in the northwest, it's looking like a drier than usual summer with average temperatures. In the southwest, we may be looking at a very dry and hot summer. This may include the resurgence of drought conditions and large wildfires. Over this large north-central portion of the country, very hot conditions are favored with periods of wet weather. Extreme heat is favored in the south-central U.S. with frequent bouts of thunderstorms. For the Great Lakes, warm weather is expected with plenty of rain. Periods of heat are also expected mainly in the second half of summer. Across the southeast, it's looking like an extremely humid and hot summer. Plenty of thunderstorms can be expected. Last but not least, over the northeastern U.S., the Farmer's Almanac is predicting a scorching summer with dry weather. The Climate Prediction Center's temperature outlook favors widespread above-normal temperatures across the southern and eastern United States, as well as a portion of the northwest. The greatest probability for above-normal temperatures is apparent from Texas and New Mexico up the east coast. Regarding precipitation, above normal rainfall looks possible across the southeast quadrant of the country, especially over the Tennessee Valley. A couple areas of below normal precipitation is also possible, one for the interior northwest and the other for the southwest. With both of these sources in mind, this is my preliminary and unofficial forecast for the summer. For the northwest, my thoughts are pretty in line with both the Farmer's Almanac and the Climate Prediction Center, with average to slightly above average temperatures and below normal rainfall looking likely. This will bring the risk of drought development and increased wildfire threats. For the southwest, it's looking like another dry summer with average to slightly above average temperatures. The monsoon season may provide some localized relief, but overall it's looking dry. The South Central United States looks to be above average in terms of temperature. For the North Central US, near average summer conditions look possible with hot weather and stormy conditions. For the Great Lakes, hot summer temperatures may be slow to get going. Things will eventually heat up with increasing storms in the second half of summer. This massive green area over the southeast will see very humid and stormy weather with above average precipitation. Then for the northeast, I'm expecting a hotter than average summer with drier weather. Thank you all for watching this video. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this is not my official forecast. If you do want to see my finalized predictions for the summer, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 